While defectors from beyond the DMZ are rare, they do occur. Approximately 31,000 North Koreans have defected to South Korea. This is a very small number considering the average quality of life found in North Korea. Thousands starving, yet very few dare to make the crossing. While South Korea is the proverbial kingdom on the hill, North Koreans don't always instantly mesh into the society. But South Korea does what it can to help. Kwak Jong Moon is the principal of Hangyore Middle and High School. Most of the students here didn't want to be identified. They still have family in North Korea who could be punished if they were exposed as defectors. But those with nothing to fear agreed to show their faces. Ten years ago, there were less than a thousand North Koreans here. But since the late 90s, famine has driven many to flee. 2007년에 북한에서 나온 친구 있나요? 아니요. 2007년. 응, 손 들어봐. 2007년에 나온 사람. 응. Just last year, more than 3,000 arrived in the south. Many of the children who come have missed out on years of education and have difficulty adjusting. <laughs> the government is worried about the long-term costs if these students fall through the cracks. So it set up the Hangyore school four years ago, despite strong opposition from local residents. 이분들이 이제 공산당을 반대하는 어, 어떤 이념, 이 생각은 평생 그렇게 살아오셨는데 쉽게 지울 수가 없죠. 그래서 처음에 학교가 들어온다고 했을 때 빨갱이 학교 들어온다고 하고 반대하고 난리를 참 엄청나게 큰 난리 난리 법석이었습니다. 저분들이 볼 때는 우리가 보통 그 공산당 하면은 막 뿌리나 있다든지 막 험악하고 그러니까 아이들이 범죄자가 많이 될 것이다. 그걸 그 그걸 걱정을 한 거예요. 이 학교가 들어오면은 애들이 교도소 같은 그런 기관이다. With state-of-the-art facilities, a wide range of classes and devoted teachers, Hangyore is far from a prison. But there's no doubt many of the students need to unlearn their childhood indoctrination. A collection of school textbooks from North Korea gives some idea of what they've been taught. Oh, Kim Jong Shin Ho Rei is the school's social studies teacher. He thinks that while these kids have a lot to learn, they also have a lot to teach South Koreans. <laughs> 공개 채용을 직접 본 사람도 있다고 하더라고요. 아, 네. 직접 봤어요? 네, 봤어요. 시장에서 무섭지 않아요? 네, 괜찮아요. 괜찮아요? 네. 
공개 처형 장면을 보고 온 사람이 한 87% 정도 되고요. 자기 가족이나 친지가 굶어서 죽은 걸 목격해 본 사람은 한 82% 정도가 됩니다. 그만큼 북한에서 경험이란 건 우리가 훨씬 더 어려움을 겪고 왔고요. South Korea automatically gives North Korean citizenship due to the fact that they still believe that they own the entirety of the Korean Peninsula. North Korean defectors are also given resettlement benefits up, worth up to 20,000 US dollars. Once the defectors arrive in South Korea, they are sent to Hanawon facility for re-education so that the transition from North Korean life to South Korean life is easier. This is highly important due to the technological divide between North and South Korea for the past 73 years. The culture shock would be staggering and often is even with the re-education program in place. South Korea offers classes to North Korean defectors on budgeting, money management, how to set up a bank account, and withdrawal or deposit money in ATM. North Koreans are so behind in technology that some defectors believe that there are people inside the ATM. When Ken Om fled North Korea in 2010, he had never heard of an ATM. And I saw the first time the ATM. It was very busy because we just only use the card, but those ATM provide cash. I was very surprised. At the time, Ken Om struggled to understand how to best spend this money. The difficult thing is that when I have a money, the how to use that money, how to budget, how to use the my budget by myself. You learn the basics of finance in a class on how to live in modern society. These classes are provided by the South Korean government to all North Korean defectors upon arrival at the so-called Hanawon facility, which operates from an undisclosed location and at Hana centers scattered throughout the country. Credit cards and insurance are foreign to many defectors who say they have never encountered them in the North. The government has recently doubled the number of hours spent on financial education to new defectors. It has even built a replica bank to teach defectors how to use an ATM. South Korea encourages defectors to save by matching their savings by up to $460 per month. The defectors come from a world where banking is virtually non-existent. In North Korea, the central bank controls every account, leading people to distrust the institution itself. Most keep their savings in cash. I didn't even have a personal bank account in North Korea because all banks are belonging to North Korean government. They need, need um, some travel, some money from the, my bank account to North Korean government did not pay. That's why when we earned money, we saved the cash and put in furniture in our house. However, these programs are not entirely successful. Even with the education at Hanawon, life in South Korea is drastically different from life in North Korea. Defectors still have a hard time adjusting to the capitalist society. Not to mention the fact that defectors are discriminated against by South Koreans. Approximately 63% of North Koreans face discrimination. North Koreans are often ridiculed for their accents or their stunted height. They sometimes aren't paid for the work that they do. North Koreans are sometimes even accused of being spies. <laughs> Many of them have never had a credit card, had to deal with insurance, or even had a bank account. They have never had so much money. This may seem like a good thing, because it means that they can have a higher quality of life. However, they don't know what to do with it all, and are unable to create an effective budget. Frequently, defectors are subjected to scams and end up in debt. One scam affected 200 defectors who lost a total of $14 million. After North Koreans are released from the program in place to help them get acclimated to their new world, they are more or less on their own. However, many organizations have stepped in to help the defectors. For example, Christian organizations have reached out to support them. They provide them with regular check-ins, unlike the government which just educates them 
and then does not follow up. The Christian organization provides daily support for defectors and makes sure that they are there to help them understand things as they come up in their lives. While there are support groups for defectors, not many go to them due to fear for what might happen to their families if they resurface. Fear combined with a small number of them and the discrimination against them makes North Korean defectors feel wholly isolated, making it highly difficult to obtain work. In order to prevent defectors from having economic difficulty, the South Korean government has set up numerous programs. At Hanawon, they have built a replica bank and have doubled the amount of time spent on teaching North Koreans about money. They also encourage defectors to save by matching their savings up to $450 a month.